Good morning to Sir Helmi. My name is Stan Hui and I am from University of Malaysia, Kelantan, UMK. My normal matrix is has 20 a Today I'm going to present the FMB department. Next, we're going to see the agenda. The first one we're going to look is introduction, area of growth, what need to be upgraded in FMB department, learning new from FMB department. And the last one is summary. First, and foremost, we got to see the introduction of FMB department. What is FMB department? FMB department is the short name of food and beverage department. It was a name for offering dining or drink to customers. For example, restaurant, bar, catering, cafeteria, or food delivery to prepare through room service. As an example, we could see is Hotel Sri Malaysia Sinban. It got so many events like Package Begawinan, Package Hari Rahil, Package Meshwarat, and the other ones. So for the fruit department, what I can see is for the Set Jamba, it got Set Jalabu and Set Rimba. Secondly is Area of Growth. First is Walks Basin. This is because there's a lot of people of asking uh, the waitress where is the places for watching the hand. As a waiter, we need to point out them like uh, for the right hand side or for the left hand side is the places for watching the hand. Secondly, we got to see the buffet lunch or dinner. There's a lot of people will be calling to the FAB department like asking did the lunch provided as a buffet or the dinner provided as a buffet so at that time we will be we will be answering them by saying that the menu is only the a la carte only the breakfast will be the buffet but if the people for buffet is less than 10 people we will going to do a a la carte la, like nasi goreng or nasi lama if these two customer can choose or if the people is more than 10 we will offer it a buffet breakfast. A buffet breakfast consists of nasi lemak, condiment, roti, cordial, and the other ones. For the price, there is some guests complaining the price is too expensive. For example, the nasi goreng for two is 42 ringgit. Some of them complain the price is too expensive. And next, we get to see the menu. For the menu, there is some guests are asking the food or the drink that are not available in the menu. For example, the lamb chop or the chocolate milk shake. Lastly, it's about the time for the breakfast. There is a one family room come out right for eating breakfast. This will cost us the FMB department for late cleaning the buffet breakfast. And not just the FMB will be late on cleaning the buffet breakfast. We also need to call the FO department for asking them to call out the guests who stay in the room. They are buying with the breakfast. Thirdly, we got to see the QR code. So for the QR code, there's a problem like some old people, they are, didn't know how to scan the QR code using the camera or their phone didn't have any apps can scan the QR code. It will be very difficult, especially for the old people, for ordering the food in FMB department. At that time, we need to take note uh, like what are they ordering? For example, they are ordering a nasi goreng china. They will need to turn out in the paper. Nasi goreng china is their order. Fourthly, learning new for FMB department. First, we got to see the morning shift and the night shift. The morning shift is started from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Where the night shift is started from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So, these two shifts are required to cross shift. The reason why they are need to cross shift is to calculate what is the grand total sale of today from the three different parts. First one is Cafe Rasasa, Hotel Banquet, and the room service. This is required to cross every day, even though there's not sales in the Hotel Banquet or in the room service. This is because if we didn't cross the sale of them, it will cause us the grand total sale of today will be coming to the yesterday sales. Next, we got to see the serving and cleaning. For serving, we need to serve in the guests by print out the order received, serve the fork and spoon dinner plate, food or drink that customer are ordered. Next, we got to see the cleaning. Clean the table after the customer use, 
wipe the table with a clean tablecloth. It also included taking payment for the guests. We need to know the guests are paid by the cash or paid by the card, like Visa card or Mastercard, and also can pay by the Grab Pay. Lastly, is calculated stock in F&B department. We will calculate the stock of the drink inventory to make sure that the drink is not being stolen or disappear. Suddenly, for example, like AW, Sprite, Coca Cola, Heaven and Lemon Tree, and Fanta. For knowing how many drink inventory are enough for selling or need to be stored for the purchasing department. Thirdly, we got to see what need to be upgraded in FMB department. For my opinion, the wash basin, uh, the FMB department can buy or put a small media sideboard showing which is the wash basin which will help customer for easily searching the press for washing hand. Secondly, is the QR code. At the same time, we still use the QR code and write it down the note for the customer, especially who are old and didn't know how to use the smartphone for scanning. And lastly is wasting food. We can use the leftover food as a fertilizer plant for tree or flower. Last but not least is about the summary of FMB department. So FMB department is a very special because it's consist of three special relationships from kitchen department, customer and the waitress. If the customer are taking order for the QR code and we as a waitress, we need to turn up and print out the order receipt to the kitchen department and the kitchen department will cook after it cook well. We'll be serving the food, serving the fork and spoon, the dinner plate and the other also. So for my ocean, these three relationships is working together on time and it working by one step by step. That's all my presentation about the FMB department. Thank you.